Okay, so do you ever wonder how the heck Fabric manages all of its compute, makes sure that your jobs process, people consume reports, data loads run, and, you know, it juggles all that stuff? Well, it's a concept called bursting and smoothing. And today, we're going to go deep into understanding how this, how bursting and smoothing works inside of Microsoft Fabric so that you can get the most out of your, your capacity. All right. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. It helps feed the logarithm. I really appreciate if you do all those things, okay? Now, when we're looking at our, our loads, this charts, we're gonna be talking about consumed CUs or capacity units, overage CUs, CUs, like when you go over the amount that you've purchased, you know, uh, and then available CUs for consumption, okay? Now, I have charted out what is like for like a, a two day period. So you can kind of see how this is going to work and operate. But when we start off, we're going to be talking about at midnight, our, our loads are going to kick off. And so at midnight, we just have a, a few items that are running and we're not even reaching, we're not near our capacity limits so that we're, uh, we've got tons of available CUs still available for consumption in that given hour, let alone throughout the entire day. As we move towards 1 a.m., we start to see our loads processes are picking up. We see that our uh, consumption still isn't um, hitting our max, but our rolling window for bursting and smoothing, our 24-hour window, extends out an hour. So at midnight, it ran till midnight the next day. At 1 a.m., it goes to 1 a.m. The, the, you know, the, the next day, right? As we go along, here we, here our loads really kick off, and we start to see that we're really hitting a bursting moment, right? So we're actually consuming double the amount of resources that we have available. That's okay. Bursting and smoothing allows you to do that, so you don't actually hit this ceiling uh, and then fail. You your bursting allows you to double the consumption that you have. But what it does is it grabs some of that compute from the future. Okay, so it grabs it right at the start even though it increments it down uh, to the 1 a.m. So we get some more blocks of compute, but we have this like smoothable space that gets added in uh, to our consumption. As we go to hour three, our loads continue to happen. So now we've had two hours under full loads. We see our, our, our timeline has moved out, but we see that our smoothable consumption, you know, th that number grows bigger as we go along. As we go through our loads and our loads start to wind down, we can see that those CUs start to get consumed from the future, but we still have a growing amount of capacity available for our utilization. So as our, our CU's overages wind down, so too our overages in uh, that smoothable amount. Once we go below that, that threshold, now our smoothing has started, right? So we, where we were consuming, you know, in this case, we're consuming eight, you know, uh, eight CUs of what we have for a given hour, along with eight bursting for three, and then uh, two bursting for that fourth hour. So it was that eight plus eight, 16, 24, 26. Now we've got 26 CUs that we're gonna start to smooth out over the upcoming hours. And you can see we've got seven of them get consumed in this first hour at, that, at 6 a.m. At 7 a.m., we got users are starting to hit hit our reports. Smoothing is going to continue, though, no problem. We could see that our amount of available CUs continues to grow up, and that little box of smoothable consumption starts to winnow away. That continues throughout the day until we hit our next burst event, okay? When that burst event hit, hits at 9 a.m., when all the users come in and start to hit their reports for their status calls and meetings, we see that those uh, the number of smooth CUs uh, starts to grow by the number that are, are consumed. When we go back to 10 a.m. And, and, you know, report utilization drops, we have smoothing start all over again. So we had bursting at 9 a.m., smoothing at 10 at 11, we get another round of bursts because I don't know, more meetings and people start to get in there. And then at noon and then onwards throughout the rest of the day, we start to see that that smoothing continues. 
as we start to eliminate the number of CUs that have been consumed, we start to see this start to really shrink until we get to 6 p.m. and we basically reset our capacity. As we look to the, look throughout the day, we could see that even in, as nightly loads happen and a burst at night occurs, by 12 p.m., we start to get to the point where uh, at midnight, we're starting all fresh again so that we don't have to worry about, you know, what our consumption patterns are going to be like for the next day, okay? Now, this is a pretty complicated thing, yet hopefully somewhat simple to understand. As you move through the day, you get more CUs available for you so that as your, your bursting and smoothing occurs, you, you, know, you kind of, you know, you never get to a moment where there's not more CUs coming in in the future, right? Now you can consume those. You, it's the, in theory, you could, you know, if you double up and you were just bursting all the time, uh, you, you could blow through your capacities. But for the most part, this is something that really doesn't happen until you start to put a real, really heavy load on your capacities because Microsoft is really good at dynamically uh, sorting these things out. All right. Now, if you found this useful, if you think this was helpful and you're like, hey, Chris, this is really great. I, I want to hear more from you. Well, <laughs> I want you to hear more too. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe, uh, well, button. Yeah, button. Turn on the alarm bell, get notifications, do the whole YouTube thing. You know what it's all about. You know, leave comments, share it with your friends and family. Um, and for those of you who are still watching, today's trivia question is uh, leave the funniest joke that you've recently heard down in the comments. I'll give you my joke. Uh, what's the largest city in the U.S.? Obesity. Obesity. <laughs> oh, you have the best day ever. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced no, seriously. technical expertise. To if you're finding this complex and this too difficult for you, head over to uh, Baker Tilly Digital or TerraSpia.com. Click on say you need some help. There's, a whole, there's service tickets all over the place. Let them know about me. I'm happy to help you guys out. All right. Yeah.